This is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 6 through verse 8. Uh, and it reads through the Holy Scriptures. Bible, BibleGateway.com, KJV version of the Holy Scriptures. And it reads in Matthew 24, verse 6 through verse 8. And I'm going to start at verse 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Matthew 24 and 7. And it reads through the Holy Scriptures. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. Uh, Matthew 24 through verse 8, and it reads, And all these are the beginning of sorrows. Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Makarkadash. Shalom to the uh, Elders for preaching the word truthfully and sincerely, and shalom to the Akim scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. I say shalom to the Akim out there, and this is a uh, sit down lesson from RT.com as of June the 29th, 2023, by uh, worldnews.com. And it reads China tests weapons for total war scenario media reports. A simulation has looked into the possibility of a regional conflict escalating into the global confrontation of the South China Sea. Morning Pro says, It says China has expanded its weapon testing and evaluation programs to include a global conflict scenario amending rising tensions between Beijing and Washington and South China. Morning uh, Post reported on Wednesday. According to the article, the latest computer-based war games in the file test has been focused on assessing the capabilities of Chinese warship in a doomsday situation. The so-called Z-War scenario is a clash of strategic willpower. The regional conflict escalations to a total war China People Liberation Army, the PLA research fame, Chanzen whose team carried out a simulation total the outlet things team declassified it declassified it its work in a pre review article published in the Chinese Journal of Ship Research earlier this month. They did not any uh Pacify countries in the uh in their paper but the potential adversaries who have been designated as the Blue Alliance deployed it. the uh, era Lovebert class destroyer used by the U.S. and its allies, if I pronounce that word. The, uh, the SCMP wrote as part of the simulation a Chinese destroyer was attacked by more than a uh, dozen missiles and three torpedoes the Blue Alliance generated jamming noise that were over 30 times stronger than the sig signal used by the ship to communicate while also reducing the range of its radars by 60% according to the article. In the conditions such as all-out attack, the destroyer combat capabilities were several reduced. The Chinese vessel lost a third of its air defense potential with one half of the surface to air missiles were able to hit incoming targets fame teams point out the research said the researchers said that the Chinese naval experts has independently assessed the results of their tests and found them to be realistically it is unlikely that this paper is intended as a horror movie an unarmed computer scientist who helped develop the commercial war game software told the newspaper about the work done by Fang's team. Researchers often look the worst case scenario because it helps them better understand the strength and weaknesses and limitations of weapons, he explained. Last week, the U.S. Secretary Anthony Blinken made a long delay trip to China in the attempts to defuse the mount tensions between. Washington and Beijing over American support for Taiwan, the Chinese balloon incident in February, and other issues. However, progress.
progress, Anthony Blinken appears to have been undone by U.S. President Joe Biden, who labeled his counterpart Xi Jinping as a dictator just a day after Washington's top diplomatic return from Beijing. China calls the extreme absurd comment by Biden an open political provocation in summoning the U.S. ambassador for a official reprimand. Earlier this year, media reports claimed that the head of the U.S. Air Mobility Commander, General Mike Mike, 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 uh, stated in a memo that Washington and Beijing could be at war over Taiwan by 2025. Yep, so this is a uh, rumor, rumors of wars right here, and I'm going to bring it out again. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, especially what's the tensions going on in the South China Sea, right along the Taiwan Strait. Tensions between Beijing and Washington. Tensions between China and the United States over Taiwan and the South China Sea as well too. So with that, hopefully this uh, lesson was edifying of this recent news article uh, from RT.com. As it says, as of June the 29th, 2023, World News, Alternative World News from RT.com. As it says again, China tests weapons for a total war scenario. So that's a uh, rumor of war, especially with the ongoing, the ongoing uh, amending, uh, rising tensions between China and the United States over Taiwan, of a potential invasion of uh, China invading uh, Taiwan, as that's getting closer and closer. So with that, hopefully this uh, lesson was edifying. I would like to give all praises and glory and honor to. To Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Akakadash. Shalom to the elders for preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim. Scatter the four corners of the gold, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well, too. And until next time, I will say Shalom.